Hi, I'm Dan Smith of DPS Legal Counsel, and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to talk about uh, just a, one quick uh, item uh, that has come up before when I've been talking to clients uh, about estate planning. And sometimes I'll be asked about transferring real property from parents to children or from uh, parents to grandchildren, basically passing the, the property uh, prior to death to uh, younger family members. And often people bring this up because they, they expect to leave the property to uh, the younger generation and they sometimes think it makes sense to go ahead and do it now uh, and, and uh, just transfer the ownership while they're still alive. And typically that's not a very good idea and here's why. If you have um, real property that has appreciated a lot in value since you've owned it. Let's say you bought it 20 years ago and paid $100,000 for it and now it's worth, 20 years later, it's worth uh, $500,000. Uh, essentially the, the property by appreciating in value $400,000, if you were to sell it today there would be, there would be gain, there would be a gain of $400,000. If you were to give that property to a family member uh, trying to help them out, they would take that $100,000 basis in the property that you have and when they sell the property they would have that gain. But if you were to uh, own the property when you pass away, and let's say that when you passed away the property is worth $500,000 and your estate passes that property to your children through your will, uh, they would have the property uh, at that time with a basis that's equal to the fair market value of the property when you die. In other words, $500,000. If they turn around the next day or the next week and sell the property rather than having that $400,000 gain, now they have zero gain. So it makes sense to not give away highly appreciated property uh, but rather to keep that property, if you intend to pass it to your children, keep that property and give it to them through your estate uh, in your will. Um, you wouldn't, you wouldn't uh, believe the number of times uh, I've been asked this question or this has come up, but it's very important to not uh, take an action without looking into things uh, tax-wise to make sure it's going to work. And in this instance, it, it's usually the case, almost always the case, it's going to make more sense to give the property to your children uh, upon death so that they can uh, avoid having that gain recognition when they sell the property. Okay, I hope that helps. Thanks, and we'll talk to you soon.